Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, my microphone is not working for the majority of this tutorial, but I'm gonna voice over some of this so it's not a completely wasted tutorial. Lots of you requested a what's in my personal makeup bag. So I thought rather than just showing you what's in my makeup bag, I would do my everyday makeup using the products. So this is my makeup bag, it's by the Flat Lay Co. As my makeup studio is in my house, I tend to use a makeup drawer rather than a makeup bag, but when I go traveling, this is the bag I take, because as you can see, you can fully lay it out like a mat. There are little sections here for your brushes, it has a pocket on the front and the back, and then once you've put everything in it, you've got this drawstring which you can pull, it pulls the bag together, and everything goes in there nice and tidily. So moving on to products that are in my makeup bag, I have this by Authored, which you've seen before, it's their lip balm, I absolutely love this. It has the scent of like Battenberg, so if you don't like marzipan, you might not necessarily love it, but I love it. After I've done that, I always bronze my neck, and I've showed you this before, I've always had the Bare Minerals Endless Summer Bronzer, because it's my favourite shade, and it's a great way to use up the old ones that have hit the pan. However, I recently purchased this Sun Tint by Peaches and Cream. This is a lightweight sheer tinted face bronzing gel and I like to use this just on my neck. You can also use this on your face if you want a no makeup day but you need a little bit of colour to your skin. This is perfect, it is scented. So if you're not a fan of fragrance, you may not want to use this. I like to buff this over my neck using this duo fibre brush by Clinique and as you can see it really is a nice sheer tint, it's not at all patchy, it goes on seamlessly and it just adds the right amount of depth to my neck to match my body which has a natural tan from the summer. Once I've bronzed my neck I move on to my face and I've done my sunscreen so I'm moving on to a primer. I only use this through the T section of my face, this is the Tatcha Liquid Silk which is geared towards somebody with combination to oily skin. If you have a drier skin, they do do the compact version of this. For everyday makeup, I don't always put a primer on, but if I want it to last more than a few hours, I definitely apply a little bit of this through the T-section, and you only need a rice size amount for the entire face. This is a new one that I've put into my personal makeup bag as of a couple of days ago. This is the new Laura Mercier Translucent Pure Setting Spray. So this is a microfine setting spray that sets your makeup for up to 16 hours. It has a clear hydrating formula and it only contains 12 ingredients, which is less than half the amount of top competitors. It doesn't have a fragrance, so it is a weird scent when it first goes on, but it doesn't last. It says there's no tightness or stickiness. However, when it went on my arms, it initially felt tight, but as I moved my arms, I couldn't feel it. So it's probably just a initial setting reaction. So I'm using it as a little prep on the skin prior to foundation. In my personal kit, I tend to have around four different foundations with different levels of coverage. My favorite go-to is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. This is perfect for a lightweight tint to the skin. It does have a little bit of coverage. But if I want something with a bit more coverage, my favorite is the number seven Restore and Renew Serum Foundation. I used to avoid anything that would say serum based because I am oily. However, I love how hydrating this is on the skin without making me oily. So I would choose this over these if I wanted some more coverage. If I want just an absolute skin tint, I have the L'Oreal Paris True Match Nude Plumping Tinted Serum. This contains 1% hyaluronic acid and it really is super lightweight. This is one of those ones you just apply with your fingers and it's beautiful. Lastly, I have the Clinique Even Better Foundation. I love anything by Clinique and this one is so beautiful. If you use your fingers, you can shear it down but you can wear it as a nice medium coverage as well. But today I'm gonna to use the Tinted Complexion Rescue by Bare Minerals. I have two shades. I like to mix together ginger and tan because I feel like these both work with my undertone and I can vary the shade depending on if it's summer or winter. Now with these, I always take my rings off because I apply it with my hands. It just doesn't work very well with a brush. It's almost like trying to mix oil and water. When you start to put it on with a brush, you'll see it doesn't look like it's gonna blend into the skin. If you use your fingers, it goes on so much nicer. If you're looking for coverage with this product, it's not gonna happen because it is such a lightweight product. It just gives enough to kind of even your skin tone as opposed to giving you coverage. That being said, that is what concealers are made for, is to go in and conceal imperfections, blemishes, dark circles, or anywhere that needs a little bit more coverage. 
I have three concealers in my makeup bag. I have the Bare Minerals Bare Skin, which has been discontinued, which is really frustrating because it is my favorite. I have no clue as to why they got rid of this, but I'm not gonna wear it purely because I feel like it'd be unfair as you can't get your hands on it. For me, that's like a light to medium coverage. Then I have the Clinique Even Better Concealer. This is another favorite of mine. This is great if you need more coverage. It's higher in its pigment, but it's still a very nice fluid consistency. And I feel like this works for all age groups. And then if you want something that's completely undetectable on the skin, no matter how mature you are, it doesn't crease, it still gives coverage. This is the AU Instant Under Eye Concealer. This is perfect for those days when you need something underneath your eyes but you don't want to wear makeup everywhere. It's just undetectable. It's very clever because it still has the coverage but without being at all cakey. Today I'm going to use the Clinique Even Better Concealer. Again, this is one of my favourites and I want just a little bit more coverage purely because we are in the studio lighting and I feel like I'm using such a lightweight tint on the skin. This will add that little bit more coverage just where I need it. Sometimes I like to blend it in with my fingers. Other days I like to use a brush. I feel like when I use a brush I get a bit more coverage. When I use my fingers I really tap it in until it's almost disappeared but it just leaves behind enough to give me some coverage. So I wanted to use a brush today and as you can see I'm using a stipple motion. I've applied the tiniest amount of concealer because I only really need a little bit to conceal. I don't need to use it for a massive amount of brightening. I'm not using it as an alternative to foundation. I'm just using it where I have a little bit of redness or discoloration on the skin. I don't always put foundation over the eyes because I tend to find this would break down the concealer. So I use what's left on my bristles to go over my eyelid skin to neutralize it. Then I like to use my ring fingers to press that into the skin and they almost work like a beauty blender because they pick up any excess product which I work onto the palms of my hands and then I go back over and this just means that I'm left with minimal amount of product there which means we get less crease in. I'm going in with another layer of the setting spray because it's been designed to be sandwiched between your layers of makeup. Next up I would go in and do my eyebrows which I'm going to do off camera because I've got so many tutorials on how to do it and I'm going to link them on screen for you now. It hasn't changed, I'm still using my Urban Decay brow blade. Next up I would use a setting powder or a finishing powder to take down some shine. My favourite are the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder which I have in two sizes. And I also popped this into my personal kit which came this week. This is the Laura Mercier Ultra Blurring Translucent Powder. So similar to the original but this has more blurring properties to it. It says it's best used with a velour puff. I have this one by LH Cosmetics. So you dip your puff into the powder and then you work it onto the palm of your hand and rub the puff together so it all goes into the fibres and then tap off any excess so you shouldn't be left with any excess powder when you tap it. Then you want to press and roll that over any areas where you are shiny. As this is a everyday makeup look, this can be as quick as you need it to be. I tend to only use this through the T section because this is where I tend to get shiny. And again, I don't always use a powder, but it does help if I'm leaving the house. I don't tend to opt for an eyeshadow on a day-to-day -day basis, but I do wear a winged liner. My favorite at the moment is the Life Liner by Huda Beauty in brown, but I also love the Wet n Wild Mega Liner, as you guys know. So both of these are in my kit, but this one is a new one and I'm absolutely loving it for its convenience. I always start halfway along the top lash line, kind of in line with the pupil, and I pull that directly out. That way it becomes thicker as it gets to the outer edge. I don't go straight into the wing from here, instead I go to the very corner of my eye and create a line for that wing and then we're left with a negative triangle. All you then have to do is connect that and fill in that little negative triangle. It is so simple, it literally takes less than 30 seconds per eye and if you only start halfway along the top lash line it would just elongate the shape of your eye. Next up in my makeup bag are eyelash curlers and my favourite are these ones by Refa because the actual metal itself is very thin which means your lashes go directly upwards as opposed to curling round a slightly thicker piece of metal and I find this just helps when you apply mascara because they don't drop as quickly. This is where my microphone kicked back in. And then tilt them back slightly only while it's comfortable, don't wrench them backwards but if you give it a little tilt and let go you'll get better lift. The mascara I'm using in my kit at the moment is the Smoky Eye Mascara by Bobbi Brown. I really love this one, again, because it doesn't flake, it stays in place all day. It's got a lovely little kind of classic wand, but this is one of those ones you can really build up. It's not too heavy to begin with. Because it goes on so light, it coats all of your lashes 
without too much product so they stay kind of like splayed out they don't clump together and if you allow them to dry for sort of like 25 seconds and then go in you will be able to build up on all those individual lashes without them going whoop and clumping together now i've done my eye makeup i'm going to move on to the skin again it's no surprises that i still absolutely love like i said earlier or i may not have because you might not have heard me um this is the Bare Minerals Endless Summer Bronzer in Faux Tan. I have this one and I have the NARS Laguna Cream Bronzer, um, but I don't tend to reach for a cream quite as often if it's kind of just every day. I tend to just use a powder, but if I'm going out somewhere special, then I will always reach for a cream, but today I'm just gonna use the powder. So I always start around my hairline. You always tap off the excess product from the bristles because if you put too much on, you'll know about it and it'll be hard to blend out. Well, I tend to keep bronzer quite high up on the cheekbone as well. Um, and I don't tend to use a separate contour color, not in the day anyway. So I keep it high coming round from the temple, and dust it onto the cheek. You don't necessarily have to just stop here when it comes to bronzer because you can graduate it across your nose and then that is kind of where the sun would hit. Now remember it is for every day so you don't want anything too heavy. You can also take a little bit of that just through your socket line if you want to. I have a new colour in my blush collection. This is a new one by Nude Sticks. This is the Nudies Matte Lux in Pretty Peach. This is part of their new Matte Lux collection and you can use my discount code to try these for yourself. One side has a brush. I never use that little brush. So whether you're in the UK or the US, you can ship on newsticks.com and use my discount code. I will link Cult Beauty for the UK underneath, but you can't use the discount code on that website. You have to shop on newsticks.com to use the discount code, but they do ship worldwide, excluding a couple of countries, I believe. But you can use my discount code. God, it's gorgeous, I love it. I'm gonna use my favorite It Cosmetics in number seven brush. Now I like to put it kind of like here backwards, not right on the apple of the cheek and if you go too low it will make your um, cheeks drop. So even if you smile and they lift, if you put it straight there and you relax your face, so does your blush, like it comes down. Make sure you kind of go high on the cheek. And a flush of colour, especially this time of year where we're coming into autumn and winter, it just brightens your complexion. And again, like the Bare Minerals, I've had these in my personal kit for so long. I'm a fan for life. I love nude sticks. I love everything that they do. And I love, love, love their blushes. Like, they're my favourite. And I just use the same blush on my lips. It's nothing you haven't seen before. You know, I'm a, a fan of that kind of monochromatic finish. And I don't tend to use a lip liner, so I don't have one in my, in my kit. And then I'm just going to finish off with one more spritz of the Laura Mercier Translucent Pure Setting Spray. On a normal day-to-day -day basis, I don't tend to use a setting spray, but because it's new, um, I wanted to try it. So that completes my everyday makeup look and showing you guys what's in my makeup bag at the moment or makeup drawers, makeup bag when I travel. But that's everything I'm kind of reaching for at the moment, all the products I love. The makeup itself really hasn't changed much, it's just a case of using some new products. I'm currently working on my Shop My Shelf shop front so if you guys want to head over there you can shop all of my looks over there as and when i get them up and um, i have a oily skin essentials shelf i have a essentials for dry skin a makeup kit essential shelf so you can go through it see everything that i've listed the links are global so whether you're in the uk or the us it will send you to a shop for your area so hopefully that works I will list and link all the products I've used in the description bar below. If you have any comments, leave them in the comment section and I'll do my best to get back to you. I'm currently working on more shelves, so if I upload something to Instagram, I will link all the products I've used in there so you can shop the look directly from the photo. I should mention that all the links are affiliate links. It doesn't cost you anything extra. It just means we both benefit because sometimes there will be a discount code underneath. If you go onto my shelf and you shop the nude sticks, you'll see that there's a link underneath that says uh, my discount code. So sometimes you'll benefit from the discount code, but if you do use the affiliate link, it doesn't cost you anything extra. It just means I get a little kickback, which helps me to continue to be able to do these tutorials for you. So I will also link my shelf below. Thank you so much for watching. Come follow me over on Instagram at Makeup, and I will see you on Sunday with another video.
Bye, guys.